Welcome back guys! Today in this video we will take a look at how you can change lens from a 4mm as I have in this case on this camera to a 2.8mm lens. And this is good to be able to do if you want wider uh, field of view and that's what I'm out for. First of all make sure that you can open up the camera. In this case there is three screws that you need to untight. And then you get it open. Um, next time is to actually get the cables loose. I'm starting with a power cable. Uh, just be a little bit gentle with the cable going to the screen itself. I'm lifting out uh, what's holding it. Then it's actually time to get the board out that holds the actual camera and lens. So a lot, another couple of screws. And then I just quickly remove the IR field. Uh, on the lens itself there's actually some glue so I'm just scraping that off a little bit quick. Nothing tricky here, and then it's just a matter of unscrewing the lens. Uh, when that's done, I take the new lens and I screw that one in place as well. It's just a matter of actually getting the uh, correct type of lens matching up, but that's not that tricky because you don't have that many types. The IR board is getting back into place. Uh, and then it's actually time to mount it and test the camera just to make sure that we have the lens correct and we have a nice f uh, field of view and it isn't blurry so the cables goes back again on the power and then I hook the camera up to the computer and just quickly set some settings so I can log on to it when that's done I'm logging into the camera and I will be showing you or I yeah I will be showing you when I actually screw the lens to get it in focus so that's what I'm starting to do now I do it a little bit at a time to make sure that I don't go past uh, you can see that I'm screwing it back and forth to get it where it should be and now I'm almost there fine tune And there we have it kind of, I think, yes. Uh, time to mount the camera back in place. Start with the uh, accessories. Um, when you mount the back plate, just make sure that the ceiling or the sealer there is actually correctly. Because this is an outdoor camera and you don't want moisture or water getting inside. So be a little bit careful there. The screws goes back in place. Uh, when that's done, it's just f time for a final quick test to make sure everything works before we actually mount this camera outside. So it's time to take a look at it again. Seem to work fine. You will see on the edges there is some blackness. And that's because we are going a wider lens than we had before. So it's actually showing the rubber edge on the camera. You could most likely cut that away, but I don't bother because it's so little on the edges or in the corners. Uh, testing the IR as well, make sure that we have night vision. And it's actually pretty da darn dark in here now. Uh, but it still works pretty good. And I like this camera, it works, yeah, it works decent. No problem at all. So basically, guys. If you want this type of camera and you want to see how to get the lenses, I will be linking that down below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. And like or comment and ask whatever you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.